I'm going to be looking at a smart wake up light alarm clock by Heimvision. Keep watching the video. How's it going guys? It's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com and on this channel we do product reviews, do-it-yourself videos, vacation videos and much much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I've just got this smart wake-up light alarm clock by Heimvision and I'm really excited because I've seen multiple videos and I've looked at these things and they look really great. Uh, so I'm just going to go over a little bit of the features and the uh, specifications on the box before I unbox it. Uh, so on the side of the box, you can see that um, you know you got different volume, brightness, you got 20 different brightness uh, options for it, seven different color modes. Of course, you have a um, FM radio. This works on Wi-Fi, so you're going to be able to download the app from Google Play or the App Store and uh, use that with your phone, as most um, most products nowadays do. Um, on the back here, it shows you a little uh, couple different things. Um, so it's got uh, one of the features is you've got a. Um, transition for uh, sunset or sunrise mode so you can make the light uh, you can punch in what you want it to do it'll uh, either get brighter or dimmer it's got multi different colors and you can change that and we'll go through that uh, later on in the app when I explain that so uh, it looks like a great product um, I can't wait I'm gonna be using this in my bedroom um, and of course the model number is an A80S so that's uh, that's the smart wake up light alarm clock. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, open this up and see what we got inside. Okay. okay right away we have our adapter that uh, we're gonna plug in. We got our alarm clock. And of course we have our uh, user manual, which is going to be uh, very handy if you want to uh, learn different functions and uh, things about this uh, alarm clock. Okay, let's open this up. Put this aside. Nicely packaged, of course. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what we got here. So this is going to be your antenna. On the bottom here, this is where the uh, the battery compartment is, if you want to uh, uh, put that in here. So the adapter, this is for your micro SB. You're going to be uh, plugging that in there. And it also has a USB port, and uh, that's great because if you want to charge uh, you know, something that you have by your bedside or uh, just plug in your phone, you can, uh, you can charge with that. So that's really, uh, that's really handy. And uh, on the front here, uh, so this is your light. You can see uh, right now, even though it's not even plugged in, this is where the uh, digital display is going to be. And of course we have all our uh, functions on the top. Um, I haven't learned everything what they, uh, what they are, but it's pretty uh, straightforward. You've got, uh, you know, you've got uh, number one and number two. So you have different alarm modes settings. So you can set that on here or in your app. You have your uh, down button, your up button. Um, this looks like, uh, oh, there's your, definitely, your, that's your snooze button. Uh, what else we got here? So we have uh, your volume up, volume down button. We have your settings and uh, yeah, a bunch, of, a bunch of different things. We'll go through that. So the next thing you need to do is you need to take your phone. You need to make sure you download the app and that's the next step. And I'll go through the, uh, the app with you. Okay, so I've got my camera app open. It's the simplest way to do this. I'm just going to scan okay and it's going to take us to uh, a smart life app and i'm just going to go ahead and click install okay we're going to continue so if this is your first time you're just going to hit uh, register and you're going to agree to the uh, privacy policy and you're going to type in your email and you'll need to type in your verification code so after you've created an account, you're going to plug in the alarm clock and you're going to hold down the snooze button for uh, approximately 10 seconds or until you can see the 
Wi-Fi uh, icon flashing on the alarm clock. So that is, so that's ready. We're going to click Add Device, and we're going to go to Lighting, and we're going to click on Lighting Wi-Fi. Okay. Now this is telling me to uh, reset the device. Okay. And uh, this says confirm that the uh, indicator is uh, rapidly blinking, and it is. Okay, now we got to enter in my password for the uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so it's found it. We're going to click done. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to go over some of the, uh, the functions on here. So now that the app's open, you can either control the buttons on the app or actually on the device. So first thing on the right here is going to be your time. And you can either click on the time or the button time. And you can see you got a couple different settings here. It's in the 24-hour uh, clock, but uh, you, can, uh, you can have it show as you want. I have it just showing 9.30 p.m. You can turn on or off the network auto time, and that's up to you. So I'll just uh, go back there. Next button is your sleep timer. You can go into settings here, and there's a couple different things you can do. You can uh, adjust your volume, your sleep mode. Um, you can have it play the radio. You can uh, control the sunset brightness. Um, so you can play around with that setting if you uh, if you want. And of course, the uh, the amount of time that you want to uh, have the timers for the sleep. So uh, that's for that button. Next is going to be the radio button. And uh, the first thing you do on your first setup, you'll have to click search and you'll have to uh, hit that button. It's going to scroll through the entire um, channels that it can actually sense. And once you've done that, then you can now turn the radio on and off and choose the station. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to turn the radio on. And now it's already playing. You can switch between different stations that it already has uh, found just by uh, doing that and uh, you can shut the radio back off. The next button is the snooze button at the top. Okay, and you see that uh, pops up. We'll click settings and of course uh, simple menu. You can uh, choose the snooze to either uh, have sound. You can uh, scroll through uh, the different settings which you want. Sound, lighting, radio or sound, radio and lighting. And uh, I'll just go back there. And uh, the next button is the lights. So you can control what you want it to do. So we're going to turn it on. Okay, and there's the light turning on. You can dim it, such as that. And one of these uh, cool features, colorful light. When you activate that, it's going to go through all the different lights that uh, it has stored. And you can see it uh, changing uh, different colors right now. Really cool feature. So we'll uh, we'll deactivate that. Okay. Next is going to be your alarm number one and two. Both of those uh, buttons are the same, just uh, you can set a different alarm in number one or number two. And in this setting, you can actually um, set different alarms in each one and uh, activate those ones. You got different options, so you can uh, set your time uh, and what you want it to do, which is uh, really convenient. Uh, if you have a different uh, day of the week or weekend, you want it to do something different or get up at a different time, you can already have that programmed. You don't have to worry about going through, uh, you know, uh, typically changing as a typical alarm clock would. Um, so that's really, uh, that's really great. Uh, and that makes it uh, um, the smart alarm clock really well. One last feature I just want to show you regarding the snooze is the uh, sounds that uh, you actually get with the unit. So uh, I'm just going to play the first sound, and uh, the first sound is actually going to be rainfall. You can change the, uh, the sounds, there's three different sounds, and also if you want to have the light or um, the radio playing, but uh, the first one's rain. Next one I'm going to do is uh, the forest.
these are the uh, sleep aids that uh, I guess some people uh, don't want to uh, try to fall asleep to uh, silence. Okay, and the last sound is going to be the river. And you can uh, set the timer to shut off at uh, various different times. If you uh, want to purchase one of these, I'm going to leave a link down below for you to do that. I also want to mention in the settings here, you can actually connect this to Alexa or the Google Assistant. Um, and I thought that was very important to let you know that as well. And uh, that will have full control over your, uh, your smart light, uh, smart alarm clock. So that's it for this smart wake up light alarm clock by Heimvision. It's really great. I really recommend uh, picking one of these up. So just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bash that bell to turn notifications on. For all upcoming videos, give us a thumbs up, like our video, share our video, and leave a comment down below. Let us know what alarm clock or smart light you're using. And we'll see you next time from JeffLepard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.